Oh my god, what a day it's been. I thought I better stop in and do a little vlog because everybody's outside. I've been having such a terrible day. What has happened is those damn bottles that I sent last week, uh, the eBay bottle, uh, the you know, the baby bottles through eBay. Um, the lady at the post office assured me that they'd be fine in padded envelopes because it's very hard to find boxes that size. So I said, great. Wrapped them up in paper, wrapped them up in bubble wrap, made them a perfect little envelope. I mean, they were in there snug. They didn't move around or nothing. She assured me, no problem, okay? Three of five bottles that I sold this week so far have um, ended up broken with the people upset, which, of course, okay, I understand. And so I immediately said I would... Um, send another one out no problem okay well today I get an, an email from a lady that it's broken that the bottle was actually broken and the liquid had come out and uh, I'm reading little texts <laughs> and that the liquid had come out all over her mail and I don't even know what all okay and um, and I felt really bad about it and plus she said her little girl had been has a little disorder and was being very patient which she usually isn't and it took a while to get there which mine do and I stated on my um you know in my store I give myself four to five days for handling because some days I can't get to the post office that's just it you know and um that's just the way life is and my life does not revolve around eBay it you know it's a side job and you know, I do the best that I can. I wrap things up beautifully. I send them out nicely, and I get them there usually very prompt. I have a 100% happiness rating, okay? So, anyway, so I'm very sorry that your daughter was disappointed, and I'll happily send her out another one. I may not have the exact one that she wanted, but there's a couple other girly kinds. I might have the cupcake one or the uh, butterfly one in case I didn't have the princess one. She was like, no problem, that's fine. The very next email I say, send to her, I say, well, like I said, I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, and um, does she have a reborn baby with a magnet? Because if she does, I will send a passy out with it, you know, as a little token of, you know, my appreciation and um, acknowledgement for your, you know, problem. The very next one I get from her is, what is in that bottle? Because in case my daughter had opened that and drank it. I'm like, is the d bottle broken or is the bottle, was the bottle just opened? If the bottle was just opened, you know, first of all, I'm not so sure I'm going to send out another one. Um, you know, um, if it was broken, yes. And I even said to her, look, the postmaster is the one that said that that would be a sufficient packing for that bottle she knew it had liquid in it I said um, you know if it was broken I'll happily replace it plus send you another item but if not you know maybe we need to talk then the very next one I get from her just send me my money back give me a refund okay fine you refund you send me my item back I'll send you the money back oh what now I'm the bad guy she says you want me to pay for a broken item I said first of all it's not my fault when stuff gets broken in transit, first of all. You know, I, that's beyond my control. And I am still, I've still offered to, um, and I don't offer refunds on my stuff. I don't. Most people on eBay don't. Um, I said, I've already offered you that. I've offered you a free item. And in the very next sentence, you ask me for your money back. Okay? Now you're talking like I'm trying to poison your kid. She's, you know, she sent me a next thing about, you know, and I told her what's in the bottle, and she said, well, you should have that posted, which, you know what, she is right, and I won't be selling bottles with anything in them anymore, because this fiasco this week, I'm going to have to send the bottles empty, you know, and I probably won't sell as many, but whatever, um, you know, and I acknowledge, yeah, you are right, you know, you're absolutely right, and, um, I won't make that mistake again, you know, but most people that you have reborn babies, you know, we all know what's in those bottles, you know, it, it, 
that isn't a uh, maybe a toy for your kid but anybody that has reborn babies is usually sitting right there anyway not letting their you know i mean i don't let olivia uh you know open the bottle or anything she couldn't even if she wanted to it's on there so tight no kid could open it but anyway and actually i ran a bead of silicone around that so that it would stay on during the transit Anyway, long story short, we ended up getting it settled down, but she kept saying, you didn't offer me that. Yes, I did. I offered you a $3.50 pacifier plus the bottle, plus I, I'm absorbing another shipping, which is now going to be $5 because it's going to have to go in a regular box, you know. Um, so, yes, I did. I mean, and, and I even said to her like numerous times, do me a favor. I can't talk to you about this anymore. It's a $3 item, lady, you know. You've taken up an hour of my time. I'm busy with somebody who's sick. I And actually, I told her somebody was in the hospital, but which isn't true. But somebody is sick. I'm busy right now. I don't have time to sit here and argue with you over a $3 bottle when I've already offered to double your money back. Not double your money back, but double your product back. Give you two items for the price of one and, and actually replace the other one. Or refund your money, and all I ask for you to do is send me my item back so that I can be sure that it's broken. I mean, of course, she's going to go get a hammer and break the damn thing now, right? Anyway, got it worked out, the end of the uh, ordeal. Um, I only spent seven minutes talking about that. Uh, you know, I'm going to send her another one out on Monday, empty, and I'm sending her something else. Then I thought about it and thought I shouldn't even send her the pacifier because if she's concerned about her daughter getting into the bottle drinking the contents of the bottle, then I probably shouldn't send her a passy with a bow and a magnet stuck to it. Next thing I know, I'm getting sued for that because the kid choked on a magnet. God, you know, and I mean, I'm trying to be my utmost nicest through every, I think we must have back and forth 25 emails. Back and forth, back and forth. I mean, like, seriously. So, learn a lesson there. If you are making the bottles, do not be selling them with um, anything like fabric softener or something like that in them without putting on there that it is toxic and that it is not meant for a kid to play with it. Because, sure enough, somebody will hang you on that one. And, um, like I said, I won't be selling anything in the bottles anymore. I'll be making my own bottles with stuff in them, and I will be selling them empty because I'm not even going to deal with that again. And, like I said, now I'm a little bit worried about the pacifiers because they have the magnet, and then they're, it's secured with surgical tape. You know, uh, it's glued on with super glue and then secured with sur surgical tape over the top of it to keep it from scratching the reborn baby's paint. So, I don't know. You know, there's there's one in every bunch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I don't know. It's been a blustery, rainy couple of days. Beautiful. Last night it was so warm we didn't even have to have a fire. Now that is bizarre in the middle of January for it to be so warm here that we didn't have to have a fire. And I think we could almost get... If I was at my own house, I wouldn't have one going now even with the rain because it is not cold. It's actually warm in here. And I have my window halfway open. I'm going to open it tonight. So, anyway, Olivia will be going home tomorrow. And, um, so I will have to get busy this week. I Oh, and I have a bottle going to Puerto Rico that's already been sent. And I am now just going to have to, I'm going to write her a note and 